Okay, hello there viewers. So far we have done this type of question where the n is actually a whole number. Now we are moving to a far more advanced question and far more frequent exam question where the n is actually a negative number or a fraction number. Alright, for us to expand this one, we could not use the Pascal triangle. So we'll be using this type of formula. Well, it looks scary but don't worry, we'll go along with it. You get the hang of it. Okay, so let's give this question a try. And now we want to expand this equation up to until x cubed term. Hey, and you might ask me, sir, this is not in, uh, this is still a whole number. It's, there's no negative there. But don't forget, our equation is in fraction, so we can actually bring it up so to get ourselves negative. And once we reach here, this is also equals to 1 plus ax to the power of n, which now we can apply the formula. Alright, so let's begin. I'm going to do this hands-on with you. It's easier that way. Okay, so firstly, you write down your t1. We got ourselves as 1, okay? Now, we're going to move on to our T2. So, we plus. Now, is the formula is N first. So, your N in this particular is N. Our N is negative 2. So, it's negative 2 first. Okay? And then, it's AX. If you go by the formula, N AX. So, our AX is negative 5X. Hopefully you're following me. And then you divide it by how many rate do you have there? You only have one rate. So one factorial. You can choose to write down one factorial or not because it's just equals to one. It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to show you the pattern. Okay, now we move on to the third pattern. Term T3 plus. Now we're going back to our N. Our N just now is negative 2 negative 2 and then you minus 1 negative 2 minus 1 we got ourselves negative 3 okay I'm so how do I get this negative 3 again so basically n minus 1 all right now since I have this two term we still continue with our ax we write down our ax negative 5x how many times did I write it down I mean, how many n do I have? I have n, n minus 1, I have 2. So since I have 2 there, this is 2 over 2 factorial. Okay, you can say also this one is the power of 1. So if I have this 2 of this, so this one becomes 2, this one over 2 factorial. If I have 1 of this, I have 1 over 1 factorial. Okay? Continuing on this kind of patterns, you can see plus. Okay, firstly, now I'm using my. I'm doing my T4. So my N again. So my N is negative 2. N minus 1. Negative 3. Minus 1 one more time. Minus 4. Okay, as you can see here. N minus 1. N minus 2. Okay. Now we write down our B. Our AX again. Our AX is negative 5X. Negative 5X. Okay, how many times did I write down my n? 1, 2, 3. So over here is power of 3. Over 3 factorial. Okay? And then since we reach ourselves, we want to get until x, x cubed. x to the power of 3, we already got reached ourselves an x cubed. We need to write this one down. Plus dot 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 dot. If you do not do write this one down in exams, you may lose one marks. Once you have finished writing down all of this, now you press your calculator and calculate very carefully and then you get this as our final answers. Was I too fast over there? Okay, never mind. Let's try one more. Okay, so let's try the expansion. I just rewrite things back for you. Okay, remember that the part that you want to expand is actually just this part. Which means, I would like to say, don't ever forget about this two. Okay? What are we going to do about it? Well, we take the 2 and we write it something like this. A very big 2. And then we start expanding this part. Okay, so let's begin. Firstly, yes, you just write down a T1. becomes 1 plus. And then right now we want to expand the second term, T2. Okay, begin with the power. Don't forget about it. This, this equation, I can rewrite it as a 1 plus AX power of N, where N is half n is, is half okay so now we write down the n n is 1 over 2 
first time we only write it one time and then we write down the, our ax our ax is x over 4 x over 4 how many times did we write down our n we only write it down once so here becomes to the power of 1 you can also write it down as 1 factorial but normally we do not write down write down this one over here because the answer is just the same moving on now we're moving to our third term t3 you don't have to write down t1 t2 t3 I just want to make you see it a bit okay now you begin with our n so our n is half and then half minus 1 we got ourselves negative half okay I'm writing down for you to see n minus 1 okay once you write down only once then you take your ax again you write down your ax x over 4 how many times do you write down your n? 1, 2. So here becomes power 2 over 2 factorial. Okay? And now we write down our third, th our fourth term, t4. How many? Okay, we start with our n. So half. And then we minus 1. Negative half. I already minus 1, so I'm minusing it again. Minus 2 negative 3 over 2 you got the idea so here is n minus 1 here is n minus 2 it's always you need to increase by 1 right now the next one is x over 4 you write down your ax x over 4 okay how many times do you have your n you have 3 1 2 3 so here becomes cube over x 3 factorial okay 3 1 2 3 3 3 factorial should you end there? Well, since we want our until x cubes written over here, this one, if I expand, I already got our myself an x cube, so we can stop there. So plus dot 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 and close bracket. I think I should make the same bracket also here. Normally I do this. Okay. Nah, you get the idea. <laughs> okay, once you reach there, press your calculator and you should be able to get this far. Okay, if you press your calculator correctly, you might get until here. And normally, students kind of stop there, which is wrong. What you should do now is that you need to multiply this one to each and one of them. Okay, you should get here, and this is where you should stop your working. Alright, hope you got the pattern. I'm going to show you one more, just show you the solution, but I'm not going to do it with you. Okay, here's our final example. Viewers, you may try this by yourself if you want to. If not, I'm just going to explain pass through, okay? As quickly as possible. So firstly, when you got yourself into this fraction, just technically bring it up. And then be careful, as I mentioned just now, you want to get yourself into 1 plus ax power of n. Okay, firstly. Just so we need to take out our 2, factorize our 2, and then don't forget to multiply your this negative 3 into both of them okay so we got ourselves over here as 1 over 8 okay now which one you want to expand you just want to expand this part but still if you want to expand that this 1 over 8 please do not forget to bring it over here okay now this is just an expansion of your t1 t2 t3 until t4 if you read the question it says here until the fourth term so it means t4 not mean until x to the power of 4 as you can see here x3 is x cubed and it's still t4 right so that's how I mentioned just now don't forget your plus dot dot dot, dot. and once you reach here just press your calculator very carefully and then you reach here once you reach here do not forget to cross to multiply this one inside the bracket which you will get yourself into this as your final answer okay so that's all. Good luck. All the best. Thank you for watching. Please comment, share, like and subscribe.